Hey friends, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I am going to be giving you a quick update on how my experience is with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. A lot of you have been leaving comments asking for an update. You want to know what's going on with the single con that I had for my pros and cons video. So I'm going to let you know what's going on with that situation, if it got resolved or not. And I also have some other quick updates such as accessories. And I also asked a question in the community tab on my YouTube channel basically asking if you have questions about the Google Pixel 7 Pro, and I only got one question, so I'll quickly address that. But if you do end up getting more questions after this video, definitely leave it in the comment section and I can do a follow-up, but let's get right into it. Okay, so let me first address my overall experience with the phone. At this given moment, February 2023, it has been about a month since I did my pros and cons video. And my overall experience with the phone is extremely positive. I really don't have anything to complain about because it has just been super, super seamless using this phone, which is what I personally think is ideal when purchasing a phone. You don't wanna have to have any issues. You wanna have a phone that's just your sidekick, it's always there for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, working around certain issues. It's just a seamless experience and it's a good thing. And that's exactly how I'm feeling with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So the singular con that I had from my pros and cons video had to do with the camera which is just a whole story. Of course, you can check that video out to see the full length of the situation that I was dealing with. But long story short, I was having a lot of glitching issues when it came to using the camera app in the phone. So uh, since that last video, there has been updates to the phone, like software updates, you know, the usual stuff. And I am not dealing with that issue whatsoever anymore. It just completely stopped. So no glitching, no lagging. I'm having no issues with being able to use the camera, no issues with being able to use the camera software, all of those things. Like I said, a seamless experience. So that situation got resolved super, super easily. It was very ideal because I did not have to contact Google at all. It's not a defective sort of situation when it comes to the phone itself and its hardware. Everything got resolved. I think when you're trying to address these kinds of issues, it really depends on how severe the issue is. In my case, I didn't really have to do anything but wait for a software update and everything was resolved. But in other cases, if it's really serious, if nothing's getting resolved with a software update or anything like that, I would suggest contacting the Google like support. They are there to troubleshoot and fix any issues. And if they aren't able to troubleshoot, they will send you a replacement. Now I know there's like different clauses to them sending you a replacement. If you're interested in hearing more about that, I did a video where I talked about that with the Google Pixel 6 Pro, but there are options for you to have the situation get resolved. So that's just a bit of a heads up there, but overall, like I said, I'm having a really great experience. Now I do wanna talk about one update when it comes to accessories, because I did a video where I talked about all of my phone's accessories, and in that video, I particularly said that there are like no cases, <laughs> or at least no fun cases for the Google Pixel phones. It's really unfortunate. I feel like every time I go to search for a Google Pixel type of case, I'm always met by iPhone cases or I'll get tricked into going onto a website and they have no cases for Google Pixel phones just for iPhones. Now, the update that I have for you, good news, Casetify has cases for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I believe they also have it for the 6 Pro and the 7, so I don't know if they have any cases for older versions of phones and they do not have cases for the A series of the Google Pixel phones, but they have 7 Pro cases, so if you have a 7 Pro like myself, these are examples of some cases that they sent me, they gifted these to me, and they're great, they're fun, they are, there are so many designs that you can choose from on Casetify, which is really cool. It's just that there are limitations on what phone 
<laughs> you can get a case for, if that makes sense. But yeah, these are two examples. They're really, really durable. As you can see, they are like, they bend a little bit, but they are also very stiff as well. And yeah, they are very snug, they fit really well, and it just feels super secure when I use these cases. So if you are looking for fun cases for your Google Pixel 7 Pro, or possibly 6 Pro or 7, you can check out Caseify. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give that quick update because I feel like I can only find clear black or white cases for Google Pixel phones. And finally, I have something that has a little bit of color that I can kind of switch around whenever I want to. Right now I'm using the clear one because I like to show the color of the phone, but you know, options we like options by the way sorry for the lighting it is suddenly extremely dark even though it's like the middle of the day i don't know what that's about but i apologize <laughs> now i also wanted to talk about the one question that i got from the community tab i only had one question and it is a technical question but i do want to address it so the question is is there a way to get actual notifications on the lock screen rather than just icons for example an actual preview of a text message i've been trying to research and look for ways but have not been able to find a solution so this is an interesting question essentially what this person is asking is that whenever you get text messages, they wanna be able to see a preview of that text message on the lock screen. So when you do this, you can look at it, you can read the text message without, without having to lock, unlock your phone. So it's interesting because as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I have previews on my phone. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you my private text messages, but I can see previews of text messages, full text messages, on my lock screen. So it's interesting that this person is unable to do that. So what I might, this might be the solution to it uh, because the person said that they were trying to find a solution and they couldn't find it. And maybe it's because the solution is in a setting that doesn't necessarily say, show me previews of text messages on my lock screen. So what I did, this might work, this might not work. But what I did, I went into the settings of my phone, go into notifications. Unfortunately, I'm not sharing like my screen right now, but settings, notifications, and then scroll down to where it says sensitive notifications. And underneath that, it'll say show sensitive content when locked. I have mine toggled on just because I don't I don't know but I have it toggled on so that that might be the sensitive content might be previews of text messages so if you have that toggled off maybe try toggling that on and give it a go let me know if that is a solution because I feel like the only thing in the settings that I can see is possibly that and it's not so clear-cut that it's about seeing previews of your text messages so try that out let me know and again if you have any other additional questions about the Google Pixel 7 Pro experience, technical questions, whatever it may be, I will try to answer them as best as I can in a follow-up video. Let me just also remind you all that I am not a tech YouTuber. I think that's pretty clear if you, check, if you checked out my channel, but I'm not a tech YouTuber, so I'm not an absolute pro at a lot of the nitty-gritty things, and that's why I don't talk about it on my channel, but Again, I will do my best as I can to share my perspective as an average user of the Google Pixel phones and a lover of the Google Pixel phones um, to best help you. But that is all for this week's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know it was a quick one, but I hope it was helpful and I will talk to you in next week's video.